Yo, what's up? Ezek here and this is the iPhone XS Max. So by the way, no, this phone pala was released way back 4 years ago, 2018, kasabay ng iPhone XS as flagship phones. Ito pala yung pinaka first iPhone na may Max sa name niya kasi mismo size niya is also Max. Kaso nga lang guys, no, Max maganda ba ito or mas sulit compared sa ibang mga phones? Tara, pag-usapan natin. Simulan natin sa design. So by the way, no, the iPhone XS Max Plus is basically just an iPhone X but bigger. Well, kasi guys, no, for your information, yung mga S iPhone lineups ng iPhone, like the iPhone 3GS, 4S, 5S, and so on, yung major upgrade lang naman nila from their base iPhone is yung added S, which basically means speed. Though never naman din is close or sinabi ni Apple yung meaning ng S sa mga iPhones, but if you'll be comparing the iPhone XS Max sa iPhone X, yung talagang pinagkaiba lang naman nila is the performance specification. Same goes sa mga S iPhone Phones, which we'll get into later. Sa ibang salita, ginagamit lang naman or nire-recycle ni Apple yung mga design ng previous iPhones at ginagamit sa mga S iPhones at yung binabago lang naman dito ay yung mismong performance specifications. So moving on sa mismong build quality, same lang din naman with the iPhone X. We have a glass material sa mismong housing and stainless steel sa mismong frame na may 208 grams na medyo may kabigatan kaya feel na feel natin yung mismong elegance ng phone. Moreover, sa mismong parts naman, again, same lang din naman with the iPhone X. So sa right side, we have the power button and SIM slot, volume button and ringer switch sa left side, tapos two speakers and one charging port below. However, in this case naman, unlike sa iPhone X, this phone has two antenna bands, one on top and below, and now has less speakers than the iPhone X, and that's one way to distinguish or differentiate the iPhone X from the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone XS. So, sa likod naman, we have the same dual camera sensor, Apple logo, and the iPhone branding. Even sa mismo feature, same lang din naman, this phone is capable of wireless charging and water resistance, but in this case, it now has an IP68 water resistance. And that means kung dati sa IP67, it's just 1 meter for 30 minutes. In this case, IP68, it's now 1.5 meters up to 30 minutes. So in guys, overall design-wise, I can say naman na the iPhone XS Max is still appealing in today's standards. Kaso nga lang, to be honest, di ko gaano common din napapansin na madami gumagamit sa iPhone XS Max whenever nag-observe ako sa mall. Kumbaga, di siya basically gaano sikat in a sense na medyo konti lang ang gumagamit ng iPhone XS Max. Hindi ko lang sure kung bakit, but syempre, I have my own reasons kung bakit ganun at the same time kung bakit hindi ko pinili ang iPhone XS Max to be my main phone or to be my main phone. But anyways, aside from that, again, the iPhone XS Max is still a nice looking phone so that's nice. So moving on next naman we have display. So by the way, sa mismong specs, this phone ay may 6.5 inches Super Retina OLED display, HDR10 1242 by 2688 pixels na may 458 pixels per inch. So again, generally speaking, kinopya lang naman ng iPhone XS Max yung specifications ng iPhone X especially by means of the resolution and screen type. However guys, no, yung pinagkaiba lang naman nila kaya tinawag na Max yung iPhone XS Max is simply because of the all new Max size na 6.5 inches which is actually the first iPhone na may Max na size. At dahil dito guys no sa bagong max size version pwede natin ma-enjoy yung bigger and more immersive watching and viewing experience sa phone especially we have the high end OLED display with the high resolution kaso nga lang guys no i feel like na medyo may kalakihan siya for most of us despite me having considerably big hands Kumbaga, hindi siya ganong convenient gamitin or kayang gamitin easily with just one hand or baka I'm just simply used to using my iPhone XR na slightly smaller than the iPhone XS Max. Pero syempre guys, no, take note, it still varies sa preference natin sa phone. So some of you might prefer the iPhone XS Max na malaking phone. However, in my case, the best size talaga sa isang phone, personally speaking guys, no, is the iPhone XR na may 6.1 inches. So, ayun. But anyways, clarify ko lang, hindi ko naman sinasabi na it's bad or pangit yung ganong size. It's actually good for other people out there who prefers this type of size Especially ito guys yung pinaka cheapest iPhone na may 6.5 inches OLED display. So yun guys, again, ulitin ko lang, yung mismong display is still sharp, nice, and crisp, and still dependable in this day and age. So, that's nice. So next naman, we have performance. So by the way, no, this phone pala is powered by the Apple A12 Bionic chip na may 4GB of RAM. Tapos yung available RAM variants or storage variants are 64, 128, and 256GB variants. So, that's nice. So pagdating naman sa mismong performance quality in my case, I can say naman na the phone is still recommendable in terms of whatever task we plan to do in our phone. So by the way guys, no, sinabi ko na to countless of times sa iba kong reviews and that is sobrang babad talaga ako sa social media, specifically sa Facebook, whenever I'm not 
not doing much in mismong phone ko. Even bago matulog guys or hindi ako makatulog sa gabi or I plan to burn time, normally pag navigate lang or pag scroll sa social media ang ginagawa ko guys. So, ayun. And sa ganong simple activity, trust me guys, the phone handles it very well. Kaso nga lang guys, no major problem sa side ko or disadvantage sa current price ng iPhone XS Max or sa pag-check natin sa market, common na or usual sa price range ng iPhone XS Max ang may 120Hz refresh rate which basically this phone is lacking or wala yung phone na to. Although guys, no, it's forgivable naman kasi this phone was released no mga panahon hindi pa ganang prioritize or talagang focus on yung high refresh rate na 120Hz. Also guys, no, kahit wala yung high refresh rate at the same time, hindi pa naman tayo ganang sanay or nakakagamit ng isang 120Hz refresh rate na phone. Masasabi ko naman na yung responsiveness quality ng 60Hz from this phone, though hindi man siya comparable sa 120Hz refresh rate, hindi pa din naman siya outdated at the same time, it can still deliver a smooth experience for a 60Hz refresh rate na phone. So moving on by means naman sa mismong Face ID, I forgot to mention this kanina sa display department but anyways, responsive pa rin naman siya guys and still very dependable bilang isang security measure sa phone natin at the same time, it's more faster or upgraded siya over the iPhone X so that's nice. So moving on sa mismong gaming performance naman which I know you're here for guys pati yung camera but anyways, I can say naman na the iPhone XS Max does still great as well. O tama ba yung grammar? Hmm. I can say naman na sobrang goods na goods pa rin naman yung gaming experience with this phone super dependable and still smooth at the same time na bonus din pala yung bigger screen for more visibility and more immersive experience kaso nga lang guys no to be honest may mga napapansin ako mga minor lags and frame drops however this is something naman na common or usual syempre sa isang phone na lumang phone guys na 2018 flagship phone also guys no another problem the phone overheats which again is very normal naman guys and a typical thing to happen sa isang phone especially a lumang iPhone guys or iPhones in general although guys no take note, kahit nag yung iPhone X as compared sa mga budget phones, kahit nag siya guys, hindi siya nagkakaroon ng mga frame drops masyado or talaga major frame drops guys or nababawasan yung frame rate or quality ng gameplay or experience natin sa mismong phone and that's again because simply this phone is a flagship phone guys na may flagship processor and performance so that's nice so next naman we have camera so by the way no suspects, same lang din naman with the iPhone X 12MP f-stop 1.8 for the wide lens or first lens tapos 12MP as well for the second lens f-stop 2.4 for the telephoto lens tapos may max resolution na 4K at 60fps tapos sa front cam naman 7MP f-stop 2.2 tapos may max resolution na 1080p at 60fps so pagdating sa mismong camera quality or camera performance I can say naman na it's actually pretty nice naman kaya pa din naman magproduce ng good dynamic range na may slight crisp and sharp quality kaso nga lang guys no in comparison with most mainstream iPhones Medyo kind of fall short nga lang or we may see its weaknesses. Pero syempre guys, no, just by judging the phone simply by its performance or quality, at the same time knowing in mind na same lang sila na specifications ng iPhone X, para sa akin naman guys, no, personally, I can see naman na the quality is still decent and fine. However guys, no, to be honest, napansin ko na in some cases or in some pictures or subjects or views, medyo wala siyang kulay or medyo patay yung kulay or medyo dull. And that's because I think alam naman natin guys na talagang natural magproduce or yung color production ng iPhones is really natural lang naman. Basically, hindi pa ganong uso or trend sa panahon ng iPhone XS Max yung mga color enhancements or mga pag enhance ng pictures or color production. So yun guys, moving on naman, since this phone has a dual lens or dedicated telephoto lens, it can take portrait shots sa mga animals, objects, and basically kahit anong bagay aside from humans. And because of that aspect, no, talaga mas nagustuhan ko yung iPhone XS Max compared to my iPhone XR since iisa lang yung lens na guys and this phone is only capable of shooting portrait shots sa mga humans and not objects nor animals. At para sa no, talagang it's a disadvantage or a bummer since I love taking portrait shots sa mga animals guys, especially our two fur babies na si Archer and Trixie, so ayun also guys, no rant ko lang, sana ginawa na lang ni Apple na ultra wide sensor, yung second telephoto lens, instead of the telephoto lens, kasi in my case, mas useful yun guys, kasi we can just basically crop in or zoom in to take telephoto shots unlike sa ultra wide sensor guys, na talagang software siya, although guys, no it is what it is, and para sa akin lang naman yun maganda pa din naman yung quality ng telephoto lens, so ayun, bawi pa din naman guys Moreover, sa mismong front cam naman, I can say naman na it's actually pretty nice pa rin naman. Masasabi ko naman na it's still sharp and punchy even in today's standards. Kaso nga lang guys, sobrang sharp and natural. Talagang bumabakat na yung mga pimples ko or mga imperfections ko sa mukha. Alex like iPhone XR guys, na hindi ganun halata. Kaya guys, no share ko lang, yun yung dahilan kung bakit ako nag-invest for the iPhone XR instead sa iPhone XS Max. And that's simply because of the beauty gate software ng iPhone XR which basically means that somehow nasusmoothen guys or kumikinis tayo sa iPhone XR compared sa ibang mga phones na walang beauty gate so that's nice. But ayun, anyways, here are more shots from the iPhone XS Max. So, let's go.
Yo, what's up? Ezek here. So, I'm currently filming using the iPhone XS Max, 7 megapixels, 1080p, full HD at 60fps. So, sound test, mic test, 1, 2, 3. Sound test, mic test, 1, 2, 3. So, kamusta yung quality? Wow, well, ganyan na. But anyways, vlog test of the iPhone XS Max. Yo, what's up? Ezek here. So, ayun. That's nice. So, next naman we have battery. So, by the way guys, no, sa specs, this phone has 3174 mAh. And that's actually a reasonable jump from the iPhone 10 na may 2760 mAh. And kasi guys, no, usually sa mga max iPhone like the iPhone XS Max, yung mga major upgrades nila include the battery. And I think alam naman natin guys, kaya mas malaki yung battery ng mga max iPhone compared sa mga base iPhones is simply because this max iPhone need more bigger battery to power their every aspect or to power the every aspect ng mismo phone. Kaso nga lang guys, napansin ko na despite the massive upgrade ng battery, it cannot last a day. Hindi katulad sa iPhone 11 ko guys na despite only having 3,110 mAh it can last 24 hours a day or basically the whole day. At syempre guys no, yung primary suspect ko or yung main reason kung ba't ganon yung battery quality ng iPhone XS Max aside sa edad ng phone is simply because of the screen type or screen quality. In other words guys no, since this phone has a high-end OLED display, naturally speaking, it would consume more battery or more power from the battery mismo ng phone unlike sa iPhone 11 or iPhone 10 or na may lower end retina display. But ayun, overall, ang ma-advise ko lang naman guys, no, instead of thinking na the iPhone XS Max can last a day, make sure na lang na maging handa tayo guys, especially in terms of bringing a power bank whenever may mga galas tayo guys. And especially, no, pinaka-importante, make sure to charge your phone up to 100% without using the phone mismo. At sa ganung action or practice natin, we may be able to utilize the iPhone XS Max more, so that's nice. At panghuling aspect naman, we have the price. So ayun guys, if you plan to buy this phone, I wait. This phone, the iPhone XS Max, you will be needing to invest around 18,000 pesos to 22,000 pesos and for that specific price range, for me to be honest, no, I would highly suggest you guys na mag-invest na lang kayo for the iPhone 11. Why? Simply because guys, hear me out. By means sa mismong specs or features wise, the iPhone 11 has more to offer. Kumbaga, like the iPhone 11 has more practical features or specs upgrade unlike sa iPhone XS Max na very minor lang guys compared sa iPhone 10. Or basically medyo minor lang guys yung upgrade from the iPhone 10. However guys, no clarify ko lang, hindi ko naman sinasabi na pangit or hindi sulit ang iPhone XS Max. Actually guys, no sulit siya for some people, especially if medyo kulang or tight kayo guys on budget and you want a phone na may max na size, trust me guys, sulit pa rin ang iPhone XS Max. Especially again, as mentioned kanina, ito pala yung pinaka-cheapest na max na iPhone guys. And if you're into that guys, and you could care less about some features na wala sa iPhone XS Max guys, trust me again, sulit pa rin ang iPhone XS Max. So, this nice. So yun guys, that's pretty much my review about the iPhone XS Max for this year 2022. If you learned or you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe in this YouTube channel. So, thank you very much. So yun guys, that's been it. Catch you in the next one. Peace and that's nice.